New at 11, Haley Kosick talked with a mom earlier tonight, and she thinks somebody killed her year-old son, Ryder. He passed away after a week at Dayton Children's Hospital. He just turned one, actually, in August. And loved to eat everything in sight. Oh, he's, he's playing now. Especially birthday cake. Come on. He just recently started walking. He was the sweetest baby ever. But she can no longer hold little Ryder. Whoever did this to my child, I just want what they deserve. Justice. And I want justice for Ryder. Last Monday, Dayton officers got called to North Hedges Street for a child with a medical emergency. He's, he's one years old. He's one years old. Okay, is he changing color? He's, yeah, he turned white. He's not breathing. The rest of that 911 call, the dispatcher talked the caller through how to do CPR. I would have never left my children alone with him. She said the man who called 911 was babysitting her four kids. I was actually at boyfriend's because it was dad's weekend with the kiddos. And he was out Christmas shopping, so he had his friend watch them. He was questioned. They let him go. They let him walk the streets. So as of right now, he's roaming the town and doing whatever he pleases while my child is going to be buried. Dayton police have not arrested anyone, but Barry's oldest daughter, who was five, told her mom it was the sitter's fault. She said that he was grabbed by his neck and thrown in the bed. And then she had to clean up his blood. Ryder's death is now being investigated by DPD's care house and homicide units. When I got to the hospital, I was told that he had a brain bleed. There was swelling in his brain. He was in a coma. She said he held on for five days before saying goodbye. You probably, what was the last thing that you remember saying to him? <laughs> that I loved him. And that was New Center 7's Haley Kosick. Today, family finalized funeral arrangements. It will be Thursday in West Milton.